the the process of how all this got started, you you made a video for your iPhone app, right? That's right. It was called Birdhouse. The year was 2009, I think. And it was just all about wanting to promote the iPhone app that I had made with a friend. Um, and so I made a video, and that video ended up getting a lot of attention. And it all exploded into a career because actual other clients started coming to me for video work. I mean, just to name a few of the companies that you worked for, Square and Flipboard and Aereo and Airbnb and Ardeo and Warby Parker. I mean, it's a very long list, and this just all came organically? Yeah, absolutely. Um, w good work begets more good work. And um, we were doing something that was different at the time, so, you know, it came like that. And now everyone has been just talking about this video for the product, the coin product millions of video views in a very short amount of time. Yeah. What do you make of that? Uh, for me, it's all about the product. My videos are nothing without an interesting product, and the popularity of the video just spoke to the fact that this specific product, the coin, um, resonated and is filling a need that nobody realized existed until now. Now, some people probably view Silicon Valley and the VC money that's there as approaching frothy territory mm -hmm. and you know I, I wonder about the idea of people who are putting out videos before products or even technically launches I uh -huh. mean is this is this a bubble warning for people I don't necessarily think it's a bubble warning uh, I think that the people investing money in these companies are wiser than they were and um, everybody knows what success looks and feels like and especially in the early stages so if there's something that feels like it's vaporware or never going to materialize into anything, then there are plenty of early warning signs, usually. Now, you're making videos that can cost anywhere between, let's say, $50,000, maybe upwards of $100,000, which sounds like a lot, except that it's pretty small compared to what a traditional TV commercial would, would cost. For a lot of these companies, I mean, was there a video alternative? I mean, a lot of them probably aren't buying 30-second spots on broadcast television. That's true. Um, a lot of them don't have the means to work with traditional advertising agencies or budgets to be spending uh, potentially a million dollars on a single commercial um, just for production. And so that's where we offer an interesting alternate option um, because we can approach the production values because we work with pro professional people and make things look good and sound good and feel good, um, but they don't have to you know, do that tr through the traditional means. I work directly with my clients. I thought it was interesting that sometimes you uh, accept as, as payment, um, you know, a stake in some of these companies. Mm -hmm. how, does that, how does that conversation begin? By the way, if you want to give me some equity in your company. Well, sometimes it's an interesting option for them because they don't have, have as much cash or capital to spend. And at heart, I'm a tech person. I, I think I am successful at this because I can identify technologies that are going to be interesting and grow. Um, and so when I, my clients have sometimes identified that I can be a part of that growth, and, and then um, I'm providing enough value to them where um, they can compensate in that way.